Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and I was not planning on filming this video but a box from Influencer showed up on my doorstep this afternoon and it had a bunch of products from Kohl's. If you don't know what Influencer is, it's a site where you can sign up and they send you free samples and you just have to review the stuff that they send you. I'll leave a link in the description box if you're interested in trying it out. You can sign up, it's totally free. You just have to agree to review the stuff they send. With that being said, this video is not sponsored by Influencer or anyone for that matter. I am just making this video because I think it'll be interesting. So this is my first impression of the wet brush. I have never heard of this product before today. When I opened my Influencer box and I saw this, I got curious, so I looked it up online. It has insanely good reviews on Amazon. It claims to be, quote, the most amazing detangling brush you'll ever use. That's a bold claim. So I am ready to be amazed. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll notice that you typically don't really see a lot of my hair. It's always pulled back, I either wear it in a ponytail or a bun, pretty much all the time. I'll take it down so you can see it. So here you can see it is very long. In the front part of my hair, I have actually what I think are nice kind of soft waves. But in the back, this is where the trouble begins, in the back. Kind of like the crown of my head and the back, I have just really coarse hair. And I don't know if you can tell, but I have a very, very strong curl pattern. So I get these like clumps of hair. I get these really thick locks. I know it's hard to tell on camera. I feel like I have two different heads of hair basically because the front is really soft and really easy to blow dry and straighten and the back is just really impossible to work with. Can you tell how it's like twisted? It just goes like that. I don't twist it, it just grows that way. So it's really frustrating, it's really tangly, it's really dry. I've tried tons of products, I've tried leave-in conditioners and oils and just you name it, I've tried it and it's so frustrating because I feel like styling it, even just combing it out is, it's a nightmare. <laughs> I know it's first world problems, but that's why you never see me do anything with my hair because I have these crazy thick tangled locks in the back. So of course I've tried tons of detanglers and when I hear these claims, I'm just super skeptical because I think there's no way that a brush can battle this hot mess express. There's no way. This brush retails for $10 or less. I think it's around $8.50 on Amazon. You can also find it at Kohl's. You can find it tons of places. I don't know why I've never heard of it if it's a miracle brush, but we're gonna find out today. I'm gonna read to you what it says on the back. Brush out tangles easily with no pulling, tugging, or pain. Yeah, right. Thin and strong yet flexible are IntelliFlex bristles glide through hair effortlessly. Combined with our ultra soft poly tips, soft tips, trademark. The adaptive flexibility of our IntelliFlex bristles help protect the hair, are ideal for sensitive scalps, and provide a massaging action. Okay. The result is healthier hair with no tangles, no split ends, and less breakage. Okay, wet brush. See what you can do. It comes in a bunch of different colors and there are even some with cool designs. I was looking on their website and they do have some pretty cool looking brushes. So even if it doesn't turn out to be a miracle brush, maybe go and check it out. Feels pretty lightweight. Some of the reviews on Amazon said that it had a really strong chemical smell. I mean, it kind of smells plasticky to me, but not really anything too bad. I mean, it's a big hunk of plastic, so what do you expect? The instructions say to start at the ends of the hair and start brushing and working your way up, and then once it's all detangled, comb through all of your hair to defrizz. So let's try it out and see. Hmm. Oh. Wow, okay. It is going through those clumps of hair. Like, let me find one and we'll brush it specifically. See how this is just like clumped together? 
I mean, it's actually working pretty well. I got a lot of hair, guys. This is why I don't brush my hair. This is why I always comb it because look how like, frizzy it is. It's growing in size. I never could have put my fingers through my hair before. Look at all that hair. Wow. So you can see all of those big clumps, like those locks of hair are definitely gone. My hair is still super curly and super frizzy, but like I said, I have coarse hair and I have a very strong curl pattern. So, I mean, I don't expect a brush to solve that. You just saw me open the package. This was my first time using this brush. Do I think it is a miracle life-changing magic detangling brush? No, not really. The first couple of passes through my hair, it was pulling a little bit, but I don't know if it really came across on camera, but those like thick chunks, those thick curls of hair, those things are super intense. So all in all, I am really impressed with the performance of this. It was not a lot of work. It was definitely a lot easier than my normal just combing out routine. I do think this is a good brush. It's definitely worth the 10 bucks. I don't think that, you know, it's a magic brush or anything, but it's a good brush. I would love to hear your experience if you've tried the wet brush or if you've tried any other miracle hair products. Leave a comment and let us know what your hair type is, what your experience was. I always love to hear your thoughts and your experiences as well. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Yikes. Looking rough. In my defense, it is late. Okay, this video is not sponsored by Influencer. Influencer? What? There's a string stuck to my boob. Way to make it awkward. We'll see. So, I'm gonna have to keep using this. I'll definitely still, I'll definitely use it. It was better than I thought it was gonna be. What do you guys think? Should I chop my hair off? I've been thinking about cutting it, but my husband always reminds me when I tell him I wanna cut my hair off, he's like, but you hate styling it, and if you cut it short, then you have to style it. And if you have it long, you can just put it in a ponytail. Should I do like a hair flip? Put it in slow motion? That's so ridiculous. So ridiculous. Okay, it's late. That's enough of that. I'm gonna go put my hair back in a ponytail now. <laughs>